Hi, hello, I am Kiran Kumar from Nature of Physics and Art, Continuation Problems from Work Energy and Power. A ball of mass M release from a point A inside a smooth wedge of mass M as shown in the figure. What is the speed of wedge when the ball reaches the B point? So when the ball is released from A position to B position, the wedge move left side with a velocity u. That velocity is asking in the question. Okay. So now try to understand here two things. According to the law of conservation of linear momentum, we will find the velocity of the ball at B position. And according to the law of conservation of energy we will get the velocity of the wedge but one thing here two bodies one is the ball of mass m and second one is the wedge of mass m both have the same masses how it is possible based on the density for example ball is made with the metal substance okay that's why high density okay here the wedge is made with the wood that's why less density Sizes are different, but masses are same only. See, ball M released from A position. That's why here the ball have initially what energy? Potential energy because of that is at the extreme position. So this is the, okay. For example, we are considering fixed position of a simple pendulum rigid support. So the ball is oscillating that is like a simple pendulum there is no connection just we are assumed like a simple pendulum so this is a position that how the potential energy whenever release the ball then potential energy gradually decreases and convert into kinetic energy see at b position that how the okay kinetic energy because of potential energy convert into kinetic energy okay so continuation we will discuss now theta is equal to given as 45 degrees so no space here i am taking theta actually theta is equal to 45 degrees okay so first i will explain to you law of conservation of linear momentum try to understand whenever the ball is released in the wedge then the wedge move left side with a velocity u with a velocity u and the ball is moved downward direction the ball have the velocity is v so ball velocity is v considering here so it is resolved into two components so here making an angle theta no space i am not writing given just direction here so then velocity resolve into two component that is v cos theta okay this is v sin theta this is v sin theta okay so now according to the law of conservation of linear momentum initial momentum which is equal to final momentum so pi which is equal to pf initially the system is in rest position that's why there is no momentum because of momentum required the velocity product of mass and velocity that need the velocity initially it released from the rest that's why there is no initial momentum so we can write like this okay so zero which is equal to after releasing the ball the wedge move left side that is negative x axis that's why i'm writing minus m into u okay and the ball about the ball i'm writing now the ball moving along the positive x axis that considering this velocity v cos theta so now plus m into okay v cos theta minus u okay because of we have to take the relative velocity try to understand okay so then this is solving we will get the velocity of the ball at a position b v value okay so here m is common so try to understand zero which is equal to that is m is common so minus u okay plus v cos 45 theta is 45 
minus u. So this m from RHA side to LHA side 0 by anything is 0. So now continuation a is the value 0 which is equal to minus u minus u is minus 2u minus 2u plus v into cos 45 is 1 by root 2. So this minus 2u from RHA side to LHA side. So the value is here v which is equal to 2 root 2 into u. So this is the value we got. This is taken as equation number 1. This is the velocity of the ball at a position b. Clearly I gave you. So this is from L, RHA side to LHA side become 2u okay and cross multiplication to then v is equal to 2 into root 2 into u u is the velocity of the wedge okay so then continuation second we have to find the velocity of the wedge for that i am taking here potential energy convert into kinetic energy according to law of conservation of energy okay so here law of conservation conservation of energy so for that potential energy convert into kinetic energy potential energy convert into kinetic energy so first i wanted to write the potential energy for potential energy we need the height so this is the height here we have to find okay so for that this angle also theta because of 90 degrees 90 degrees nothing but theta plus theta that is 2 theta theta is 45 degrees 2 into 45 is 90 only so for this sine theta which is equal to h divided by h divided by r okay so theta value is how much here 45 degrees theta is equal how much 45 degrees what is the h value that is r divided by root 2 what is that r divided by root 2 remember this value okay so then here potential energy is first i am writing mg h which is equal to first kinetic energy of the wedge then kinetic energy of the okay ball for kinetic energy of the wedge that is 1 by 2 m u square so 1 by 2 m u square okay plus second for the ball ball have the two dimensional motion that's why we will consider both the values so for that 1 by 2 m so the value is v cos theta minus u whole square okay so one second one second i will clean this and rewrite some other place okay so for this continuation plus one by two m into this vertical component is v sine theta whole square this is the value we got from the law of conservation of energy so the values we will replace step by step here what is the value for sine theta that is 45 degrees which is h by r okay so h which is equal to r divided by root 2 okay so then m g h value is how much here r divided by root 2 which is equal to 1 by 2 m is common so then u square plus try to understand here v value is replacing that value is here 2 into root 2 into u cos 45 degrees minus u whole square plus 1 by 2 okay 1 by 2 m is common here okay so then here this value is 2 root 2 u sine 45 degrees okay this is whole square so this is commonly taking like this okay see 1 by 2 m is common so what is get cancelled here m m is get cancelled 
okay the resultant equation is g r divided by root 2 which is equal to 1 by 2 okay this is u square plus uh, tell me this value okay so root 2 and sin 40 sorry cos 45 is get cancelled can i write okay so that 2 root 2 u this is 1 by root 2 minus u okay whole square root 2 root 2 is get cancelled okay plus this value is here 2 root 2 u into sin 45 is 1 by root 2 whole square so root 2 root 2 is get cancelled then continuation here this is 2 g r divided by root 2 cross multiplication this is u square okay plus here 2 u minus u that is u only whole square u square plus try to understand here 2 into u whole square 2 into u whole square is 2 square u square that is 4 u square 4 u square okay so then this is root 2 into gr which is equal to 6 u square okay from this equation u square which is equal to root 2 gr divided by 6 okay so this is the 6 okay after solving this we will get u which is equal to root over gr divided by 3 into root 2 is the answer for the given question